Welcome to you all. It's lovely to see so many people here this afternoon. Um, inside, I'm sort of bubbling because um, we've been waiting for the official opening and actually being able to do this. And it's so special to have you here supporting and helping us with it. It was about two years ago when I first thought, I thought it'd be great if we could have one of these units on the Tesco site to use for young people with this. So uh, last September, I actually wrote to the bishop, uh, spoke to the bishop and said, uh, could he help me with this? So uh, he basically asked whether Tesco would partner with us uh, in providing us with this unit so that we could then run it as a youth cafe, a youth venue. Uh, December last year, uh, Tesco came back to us and said, yes, you can have unit number one and uh, it's rent free. Uh, September that 2008, the lease was signed uh, and building work began. Uh, October the 7th saw our first uh, youth drop in when we had about 20 young people in here and they went crazy, they couldn't believe the stuff that was in here, it was great. November the 18th, well that's today, the grand opening. I'd like to just run through a few personal thanks to people um, who have really helped with the setup. Uh, Dr. Nick Henwood, as I said, Nick. Um, I haven't done this without Nick. And Nick has headed up a team uh, comprising Angela, Alex's wife, um, uh, Rod Thorne and Nimesh Popat. Uh, my son Thomas has been involved, uh, Liz over here, uh, has been our treasurer and been responsible with Roz for actually some of the funding. Uh, to Tesco, next thanks goes to, to Tesco, particularly Regional Corporate Affairs Manager Nick Gilladley. Our generous funders, Garfield Western Foundation, to Riverside, and I thank you for your generous donation. The Youth Capital Fund and the Church and Community Fund, uh, a great uh, gift from them as well. We received uh, legal and financial help from the Bishop and the Diocese of Leicester, and particularly from Andrew Roberts and David Knowles. Uh, we're grateful to the, for the support from the local police, police um, Martin and Inspector Rob Vivian here, and the hard work of many people from Hope Hamilton Church. We're only a small bunch of people, we're about 35 if everybody is, is, is with us, but um, thank you so much to all, uh, all the work you've done uh, in supporting this vision, uh, it's fantastic. Uh, in Tesco we believe very strongly in the community and it's actually part of the KPIs that our store managers are assessed on. But what better demonstration of something that's really a community project than this project here? So I really would like to wish the unit every success for the future. I'd also like to say to everybody who's been involved that if you're ever short of a job, you want to come in for shop fitting and nothing else. Because what you can achieve with a show like this and turning it into something as fantastic as this is really very incredible. So thank congratulations and good luck. And thank you. So I think this is fantastic. Um, I think there are two, two really important things that we have to do um, as a country. One is stop the demonisation of young people. I think young people get unfairly labelled in so many ways, it's physically convenient to do that sometimes, but the reality is the vast majority of young people are good people, quite capable of doing good things. And I think secondly, the more, the more, I, the more I go around the country um, looking at this sort of project, the more inspired I am by seeing uh, church, uh, Tesco, retail, supermarkets, people coming together with the police. The old models of the way that we do youth work and the way we help communities are changing dramatically yeah. and this is a fantastic product of that um, and I think you know government enables, should enable this to happen and maybe that's the model of the way that the future is going to be. So it's been a great it's been a privilege to be here, I'm, I'm really really impressed by everybody's enthusiasm and what you will undoubtedly do is change the lives of many many young people and that's just absolutely brilliant so thank you Phil, thank you for everyone. <laughs> There is a serious lack of youth facilities in Hamilton, so what the church has achieved is wonderful. And I'd like the local businesses, the local community and the Leicester City Council to give you all the support and help to make this even more of a success. So instead of opening three days a week, you open seven days a week. And know that Tesco's already helped, but I would like more people to help and support you so we can have it open seven days a week. Fantastic. And thank you very much for your own hard work and what you're doing. Thank you. In this city, uh, it's sometimes said that, um, you know, religious people are divisive. You know, if only we didn't have people, some were Hindus, some were Sikhs, some were Jews, some were Muslims, some were Christians, we'd all get on so much better together. 
I think what, um, what this work in this centre shows us is that people who have a faith can bring people together and that's so important up here in this community. So I want to congratulate everybody for forming the kind of partnerships which absolutely transform community. We just feel that here today. I think we all owe a huge debt of gratitude to Phil and his leadership yep. for all that he's yeah. done here in recent years, for pioneering this, for having the courage to do it, and the entrepreneurial skills which you don't always find amongst the clergy. The way you do, <laughs> the way you do they're both scary and precious. So Phil, well done. Thank you so much. transform our community, our environment, you and me. And that, I think that sums up what we're about here. We want, to, we want to see young people's lives transformed by being part of what we're doing here. And we want to be sort of working to, to see that happen. So thank you for helping us in, in, in bringing that about.